Hello, 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 and the warmest of welcomes to today's video. If you haven't seen my face before, hi, I'm Nick. Proud to have you here. If you have seen my face before, thank you so much for joining me again. Hope you're enjoying my videos. I'm all about living life loud, and what that means for me is being your authentic self, being proud to be you, talking about the things that you love, just loving yourself. So I talk about a range of things on this channel. I talk about fashion. I also talk about some more personal topics. So if that floats your boat, if you're interested, go and check out some of those videos. So, also, please like and subscribe. Thank you. Yes. Got it in there. I always forget about that bit. Um, so today I wanted to share with you some of my personal favourites from the current Longchamp collection. Six bags, my six favourite pieces within the current collection. I'm going to try and share it with you in six whole minutes. Let's see how we get on. Start the timer. Ding, ding, ding. So, my first one, and this is a bag that I've thought long and hard about. I going to put it on the wish list, I think, and I believe it is called the Rosu. I'm sorry for the pronunciation. Um, it is a full leather top handle bag. I would get mine in a large size. I'm just waiting to see if there's a colour that comes out that really grabs me. However, the one that I'm absolutely loving at the moment is this beautiful sage green. I think it's stunning. I love the softness of it. I think this would be incredibly easy to pair. It's summery, but also imagine this with a large sweatshirt, casual clothes. I think it'd be a really beautiful piece. And the price point, I believe, to be really, really good for a full leather handbag. It's around £400. They do them in a range of colours. They do them in a range of sizes, if that's what floats your boat. If you'd like a smaller bag, I personally really love the large size. Next up, and we're going to my favourite range, which is the Les Pliage range. And I've mentioned before that I'm not a massive fan of the classic or the original. However, I absolutely love this pink colour in the shoulder bag, and I believe the colour is called Peony. I would personally get this in the larger size. You know how I feel about the Le Pliage um, range. I think it's fabulous. I think it's durable. I think it's easy to style, easy to wear. Great option to have a pop of colour without spending the earth on it. They're incredibly practical. I love how they fold. Absolutely joyous. I would buy it probably in the larger size. Super duper practical. No complaints here. Fab bag. Next up, and this is one that I actually own myself, and it is the Le Pliage top handle from their Pride collection with the rainbow horse on the front. And here we have mine. I'm obsessed with this. I've been using this far more recently. I didn't use it for the first few weeks that I owned it. I've been using it more now. I actually used it as my work bag yesterday. If it's a full-size laptop, great, great durable material. Love the black leather. Love the rainbow horse on the front. I think it's absolutely stunning. Really beautiful piece. It was £175, which I think for a bag of this size, it's a really good price point. It would also be an excellent overnight bag. I have no, no bad things to say about it at this point. Mine has a bag organiser inside it, um, and I absolutely love it. I'm really, really thrilled with it. Comes with a cross body or shoulder strap. Should you use those? I personally do not. Thoroughly, thoroughly recommend. Now back to the Rosu range. Rosu? Yeah, we're going to say that. And this is the tote bag, shoulder bag, shopper, and it appears to be in this grey material. It almost looks like a felt, um, but I absolutely love this. I think it's really sophisticated. I love the branding on it. I think it would be super practical, super cosy. Again, this with a really big, thick sweater in winter if you're on a dry day. I think it would be absolutely fabulous. I love the colour combination. I think it's really, really beautiful. And like I said, I think it'd be incredibly practical. I really like this rosy range as well. Um, I just like the way that they've continued the style through the top handles into the shoulder bags, into the shoppers. You can see that they all sit within the same range. And I really like it when brands do that, when they feel like there's enough of a difference, but there's a continuation of the style. What I also meant to say that I really liked about the top handle is the fact that you could pop in the sides, which gives it a little bit more shape, um, or you could open them out if you needed a little bit more space. I personally think I prefer the look of it with them popped in, but I'm absolutely loving the top handle and I'm loving the shoulder bag as well, or the shopper, and I would get that in the largest size possible, which is around £300. Okay, next up, and this is something from the men's collection um, and this is one of the document holders laptop cases i'm not even going to try and pronounce this 
um, but I think it's absolutely beautiful. The leather is so soft. Longchamp have a really beautiful leather. I think this would also be incredibly practical and it's more padded than the nylon briefcases. So as you know, I have a couple of the nylon briefcases. They are practical, don't get me wrong, but they're not padded in any way. So let's say you drop them or you knocked it. If you had something like a laptop or an iPad in there, I don't think it's going to offer you anything. This leather version, I think, offers you a little bit more protection. It's a little bit more sophisticated. It's a little bit more structured. I think it's a really, really beautiful option. £300 again for a full leather document holder or full leather briefcase actually isn't a terrible price point either. Longchamp do really beautiful leathers. So I'm a really big fan of this. I think it's well worth a look. And finally, last but by no means least, and this was a range that I discussed very recently, and this was the Longchamp um, collection, Le Pliage Green Collection, and I'm talking about the top handle in the medium size in the colour Ocean. The colours of this collection were based on um, nature, not so much the elements, but nature, um, and they do a red, a white, a blue, and a green. I think the Ocean is absolutely stunning. The top handle, as you know, it, in the medium size is possibly my favourite of the Longchamp bags. I think it's the most versatile. I think it suits, it would suit anyone and everyone. And what I love about Longchamp's branding recently is that they are using a mixture of models, mixture of genders. I think it's fabulous. I absolutely love to see a broader range of individuals being reflected in an organization's branding. So I think this would be absolutely stunning. I'm really curious about the feel of the material because it's a more eco-friendly material, reducing the overall carbon footprint of the bag itself and therefore helping you reduce your carbon footprint as an owner and a purchaser. So there we have it guys. Those are my six favorites from the current Longchamp collection. Let me know what your thoughts are. Let me know what your favorites are as well. And I really look forward to seeing you in my next video. Take care guys, bye.